hey guys it's Leo the plug here back again with another video for you guys so as you guys can see by the title you already know what i'm about to be doing honey yes today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your own professional logo for your business using your phone the app that we're going to be using is pixart yeah which is basically the only app we'll be using today and also we're going to be using google on safari to search up for whatever texture of background we would like to put for our logo okay so i'm just making like a little text based type of logo not nothing too crazy or anything like that but something simple but also professional so we're gonna get right into that the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go on to safari and then you're gonna search up for like the type of background that you're going for whether it's like a pink foil type of background and as you guys can see this is super pretty i already have this so you guys are gonna save that save whatever type of texture you're going for i really like how the foil is looking it's looking really cute and it brings out like a professional type of look so that's why i took this pink and i also took the gold foil as well the gold foil background i took this one so you guys can save that as well this is really pretty let me save it at the photos great but there are many different types of other background you guys could use your type of color and stuff like that you don't have to do the same thing i'll just show you guys an example so you guys can know how to make your own logo so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out of here and then we're gonna go on to the app pixart once we're in pixart you're gonna click on the plus sign we're gonna scroll all the way down and as you guys can see this little checker box that is white and gray that's the transparent background you're going to click on that once you're on that what you're going to do is you're going to add a text but before a text i'm just going to add like a little pic to show you guys so the i'm going to be showing you guys like one of the logos that i already made but i'm going to try to switch it up or i'm just create one out of my head so let's just go into sticker i'm just going to add like a cute sticker to it i'm going to go into my recents and as you guys can see there's so many things here that i already used so we're going to use this first thing above here which is this this is like i don't know what they call this but a robbery mask that's what i'm gonna call it <laughs> we're gonna use this i'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and i'm gonna place it here keep in mind you guys could like put like a white background behind but i'm just gonna do it straight on this transparent background and save it directly so i'm gonna add a shadow to it by clicking on shadow then i'm gonna turn up the opacity i'm gonna position it in the middle so i'm gonna put it on zero and then i'm gonna leave it like that then now i'm gonna add a text so i'm gonna add the name barbie things or something like that so i'm gonna put barbie things barbie we're gonna do the first part and you guys could like use like the fonts that comes with pix art but i'm not gonna be using any of those fonts because i'm gonna use a font that is in the paid section so i'm looking for a cute font that i could use if you're not willing to pay for it then or you can't afford to pay for it right now then you guys could use like the fonts that comes with pix art that is limited so you guys could use that at the moment but i'm gonna use something really different i'm gonna be using this font i think it's really cute so i'm gonna place it right here and the font name is remachine script that's the name of it but that's in the paid section if you're willing to pay for the app then this is the name of the font remachine script but you guys could use the uh, other fonts that comes with pix art so once you're here please do not click on apply because once you click on apply then that means you're finished and you won't be able to go back and edit it so do not click on apply you just click on the screen right here if you want to come off and add something else but yeah do not click on apply so we're going to click back on barbie then to add the texture you're going to click on color then you're going to click on texture right here then you're going to click on that little plus sign here that has like the little image icon you're gonna click on that then you're gonna click on the texture of background that you're going for to put for your logo name so this is like a silver foil that i found and it makes it look a little bit glitterish and stuff like that so that's why i took it and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click on shadow turn up the opacity and then i'm gonna position it in the middle to zero great so that's the first name then we're gonna put 
boutique at the bottom so this would just be the first logo then i'm going to show you guys another way to make it to make a different type of style with the same name of logo okay so we're just going to finish off this so we're going to type in okay we're going to put boutique and then we're going to change the font to something different like this is really cute i love this font the font of this one is respective so now we're gonna change the texture of it so we're gonna click on color texture once you click on the plus sign then you're gonna click on the background that you're that you would like to put so i'm gonna put this pink right here this is really cute i really love how this looks so as you guys can see barbie boutique i don't know if i should change the font of the barbie since the boutique looks really expensive looks really cute too as well we're gonna add shadow to it so we're gonna click on shadow and then first we're gonna fix it position it in the middle zero and then we're gonna do the same as well for this one zero and then we're gonna adjust it by turning up the opacity so let me see if i could find another font or else i'll just come back to this one but let's see the font of this ray machine script so i'm gonna try to find something that's a little bit cute like sudden air that's really cute too so i'm gonna fix that like right there and then i'm gonna place this right here like that yeah i really i kind of like this one this one looks really cute barbie boutique this looks cute i really like how this looks yeah this looks really cute i don't know if i should put this mask or should i change it for something different i really don't know let's see if i could add another sticker and find something like more pretty like this this is super cute so i'm gonna delete this and then i'm gonna place this above like that so this looks much more professional much more cuter yeah we're gonna leave that right here we're gonna add shadow to it and then we're gonna fix it to zero and zero great turn up the opacity and great honey this looks super cute i really like how this looks you guys could add like different type of stickers but that's just one that i chose so yeah that's it for this that's it for this little cute logo that i made so or you guys could like take it off and just leave it as barbie boutique you guys could do whatever you want but i'm gonna put it back or should i put back the mask face great okay i'm gonna leave it like that since i think this is really cute i really love how this looks so yeah once you're done you're gonna save that by clicking on apply then you're gonna click on next and then you're gonna save it download great it's saved so now we're gonna click on done and then we're gonna create another we're gonna create another logo with the same name it's the same logo but just in a different type of style because you know remember when you have a logo you have to have different type of styles you know to show i'm gonna show you guys how to make the same thing but in a different type of style so we're gonna go into text so this time i'm gonna put two big b's bb and we're not gonna be using respective we're gonna use something like really simple i really like how this one looks so i'm gonna put one b like this and then another b in a different type of style or i could place it like right here like that that's super dope and then at the side so i'm gonna add texture to this then i'm gonna add like a goal should i add goal the goal looks really cute and then this one i'm gonna put like a different kind type of texture i'm gonna put the pink now that's really cute i really love how the two blends together and then i'm gonna add text and i'm gonna put barbie boutique but i'm gonna change up this i'm gonna like turn it sideways like this i'm gonna make it a little small not too small but like and then i'm gonna place this like right here great like that and then i'm gonna change the color of that by or i could change the font as well by putting something like respective but that's super complicated to read let's see i'm gonna turn this like that and then i'm just gonna place it right here and then i'm gonna place the two b's together so i'm gonna place the two b's together like that and then i'm just gonna place this at the bottom here i'm gonna open it up wide and i'm gonna bring it up like that so this looks super cute as well then now i'm gonna click on color and then i'm gonna click on texture the texture i'll be adding is something let me add the silver to see if it'll blend yeah that blends as well that's not bad that's super cute i really like how it looks i'm just gonna fix this b because it's a little too big so this right here i think i should like i'm gonna edit the text i'm just gonna put barbie first and then i'm gonna change the texture for the texture for that 
I'm going to put the pink at the beginning and then I'm going to put a gold at the end. You know, switch up the colors. So after Barbie, we're going to put, we're going to make this boutique a little bigger like that. Yes, that's super cute. So now the boutique, I'm going to change the texture for that. We're going to put the gold, which is this one. And boom, baby. This is super professional and cute and I love how it looks. It came out super well and super fancy. So now I'm going to click on apply next and you're going to save that download. Great. The way how I saved it is a transparent background. So you guys could just go in the app Fonto. Click on the camera icon, plain image. You could click on a white background. You could add it on a white background, but I prefer a black background. Apply. I'm going to change the size to like a square. Great. We're going to use that and then I'm going to add image. And I'm going to add this little logo that I made, which is Barbie Boutique. And I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to open it up. And boom, baby. This is a beautiful logo. So now I'm going to save that. Save. Save image. So it's saved to my gallery. Hopefully this video helped you guys. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on notification bell so you guys can know whenever your girl, Leah, posts. Okay? And I'm a... See you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. Bye.